Hi. Karibu katika tutorial hii ambayo nitakufundisha quadratic equations. Na hili somo linatolewa kwa wanafunzi wa form 2 kwa hiyo kama una kijana yote ambaye unamfahamu unaweza kumpata hii video akanufaika. So, mimi naanza moja kwa moja hapa nasema ni quadratic equations. So, leo tutazungumzia quadratic equations, nitawafundisha how to represent quadratic equations in this tutorial na ku give you some examples. So, generally, let me say generally Quadratic equation kwa hiyo kwa informa tena namna hii ambayo ni ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Kwa hiyo kama ukiona equation yoyote kwa style hiyo, hiyo equation tunasema ni quadratic equations. Equ quadratic equation na hapa a na represent any constant number, I mean any real number. B na the same na c ni the same. Hii a tunaita ni coefficient of x square. Kwa hiyo nitaposema coefficient of x square na maanisha a na posema coefficient of x na maanisha b na naposema constant number na maanisha c. Hii kwa jina lingine tunaita constant na ndio maana tumeweka c. Kwa hiyo hii ni quadratic. Na hii ndio general format of quadratic equation. Na kama ukiulizwa quadratic equation tunaijua vipi? Most of the time quadratic equation inajulikana kwa kuwa na square on top of this. So you see this square here. Hii ndio inajumlisha inajulisha kwamba hii equation ni quadratic. Kama equation ingekuwa kwa style hii ax plus let's say b is equal to c is equal to 0 hii equation inakuwa ni linear equation na hapo tugundua kwamba kumbe quadratic equation hii equation inakuwa valid itaitwa quadratic endapo a is not equal to 0 kwa if a is not equal to 0 hii equation itakuwa ni quadratic equation if a is equal to 0 that means equation yako itakuwa reduced to bx plus c which is equal to 0 na hii equation haito ito tena linear hii itaitwa linear equation haito kuwa quadratic quadratic equation again kwa hiyo this is very important part you need to understand kwamba kama a ikiwa ni 0 equation inakuwa ni linear equation na kama hii ikiwa ni square inakuwa ni quadratic equation na katika tutorials zinazofuata nitakuelekeza kadri hii power ya hapa juu inavyozidi kuongezeka ndivyo ambavyo jina la equation linabadilika kwa mfano Utakuja kusoma kwamba ukiwa na equation kama hii ax cube plus bx square let's say plus cx plus d is equal to 0 e hii tutakuwa tunaita cubic equation cubic equation kwa nini kwa sababu ina cube hapa kwa juu kwa hiyo ni just introduction kuhusu uh, quadratic equation how do we write them so to give you an examples of quadratic equations let me give you this first of all let's say 2x square plus 4x plus 6 is equal to 0 Ukiangalia vizuri kwenye hii equation tutakugua kwamba a ni mbili right oops sorry then a ni mbili alafu tu we have b ni 4 na c ni 6 yeah iko wazi kabisa hapa kama inavyoonekana a ni value ambayo ni coefficient of x square ambayo ni mbili b ni coefficient of x ambayo ni 4 na c ni, ni constant number ambayo ni 0 let me give you another example. Let's say we have negative 2x square minus 7x plus 6 is equal to 0. Uh, I like 6, you know. Let me change this to 8. I mean, si lazima kuwa na 6 ya boss, yoka cream. Yeah, so equation kama hii yapa na manisha kamba a itakuwa ni negative 2, b itakuwa ni negative 7, na c itakuwa ni 8. Right? Yeah, I think you understand. Let me give another example and uh, I'm going to give you time to try to guess what the values of x, what are value of a, b and c. Let's say x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. As you can guess, as you could guess, kwamba value a yapa itakuwa negative 1, value of b itakuwa ni 2, na value of c itakuwa ni 1. Okay? Na let me give you another example. Yeah, I'm going to give you just example, you, you understand what I mean by A, B, and C. Kwa sababu kizielewa hizo, hata ukumbele itakuwa ni rice. Okay? That's why I'm giving you some number of examples, how quadratic equation can appear to be. Let me, another example is, let's say, 7x squared plus 8x, let's say, is equal to negative 2. Wakati mgini upa equation kama hii, upande uwa amna sefuri, kuna constant number, Kwa ukipewa equation na hivi ya ujua kambaini quadratic Kwa sabu quadratic equation hatuangali mwisho Tunangali hiyo number ni coefficient of x square Kama ni any number, any real number Which is negative 7 in this case Kwa sabu hii ni coefficient of x square ni number other than 0 Hii equation tendele kwa quadratic equation Irregardless number tulizopewa kukumbele Hii manake ni ni, hii manake ni kwamba Hata kama equation yako ikuwa ni x square is equal to 0 Hii still ni quadratic equation Kwa nini kwa sabu ni x square Okay 
Kwa hiyo value ya a hapa itakuwa ni negative 7, value ya b itakuwa ni 8 na value ya c itakuwa ni 2. Kwa sababu hii 2 imeleta upande huu ambao ukileta huku upande huu utabaki sifuri na upande huu itakuja as positive 2 na equation itakuwa imerudi kwenye general equation ambayo tumeisoma mwanzo hii hapa. Yeah, I think you understand, right? Okay. Another example that we have apart from this is this one. Let's say we have x square plus 2 is equal to 0. This is also a quadratic equation. Why? Because coefficient of x square is 1. Na kama nikisema andika values, kasema x a in 1, b in this case haipo, kwa sababu hatuna x, mana kini kuna 0 x, about me prefer not to write it. Na pia nikisema c itakuwa ni 2. Okay? Yeah, I think you understand. And the last example in this case, let me say 3x square minus 4x is equal to 0. As you could guess, kwamba in this case, a yetu itakuwa ni 3, b itakuwa ni negative 4, c itakuwa ni 0. Kwa sababu c hatuna. C hapa haijandikwa, kwa tunashumu kwa mani 0, of course tunashumu kwa sababu haipa maniki ni 0. Okay? Kwa hiyo hii nilikuwa ni introduction ya quadratic equation. Tumeleza format, general format ya quadratic equation. As tulifuandika hapa yu, hii na general format. Na tumesema kwamba a kiwa not equal to 0, equation itakuwa ni linear equation, haito kwa tena quadratic equation. Na tukasema kwamba hii power ya paya yu inabalika, hii kiwa ni 3, ni 2, ni cubic. Na tumetua some examples kwamba ukipewa number, ukipewa equation kama hii, unaweza yu kujua kwamba hii ni a, hii ni b, hii ni c. Kwa hiyo, thank you for watching. Na kama utakuwa na maswali, please andika kwenye comment hapa chini. Na nitakuja kwa reply bada. Yeah, I'm going to reply to my question. Okay, thank you and have a good day.